Welcome back to Inside South Florida. Simon Grossman is a Venezuelan American singer and songwriter based in Miami. Since his debut in 2017, he has surprised the Miami music scene with an unprecedented style. Mostly Fresh, a music session recorded in Madrid, is his latest project, and I was delighted to have a conversation with him. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Simon, for the people who are meeting you for the first time, how did you start getting involved in the music? And tell us a little bit more about the style you chose. So I always liked playing music and playing guitar and especially listening to music. And I think that it like consolidated into what my dream was when I was like a teenager. Then I started writing songs and suddenly that I started playing a couple of gigs and then things started like materializing more. And that's when I when I decided that this was going to be what I'm going to uh, dedicate my life to. And as for the style, I think my style is pretty laid back. It's fun. It's it's good vibes. And I feel like that's kind of the a reflection of my personality. Wow, that's great because it is very positive and good vibe feeling. So you have an EP called Triste Pero Fresh, which means sad but fresh. And then your most recent album is called Mostly Fresh. Can you explain to us what was that transition from one EP to the other? I feel like those EPs have always been like a like a parallel, uh, like a, it's like a parallel journey. Uh, in comparison to my albums and Triste Pero Fresh was I was coming out of a relationship I was sad but I've always been like I've always tried to you know keep myself busy and and keep myself uh, just enjoying and that was kind of what the mood for that was and Mostly Fresh is now just understanding that maybe you live with kind of some regrets and some things that um that you're not happy with, but at the same time, you kind of have to stay, you know, fresh. You have done great collaborations with different singers and artists. Can you tell us who do you have in mind for a new collaboration? Mm, I would love to collaborate with a lot of artists. Um, I recently collaborated with Rawayana, which is one of my favorite bands of all time. And um, I would love to collaborate with, there's a, Talking about Spanglish, there's a, a girl, she's from Panama, she lives in LA. Her name is Sofia Valdez, and she sings in English and also in Spanish, and I would love to collaborate with her. Also, Maye, Maye is also an, another artist from Miami, and she also sings in English and in Spanish, and I would love to collaborate with her as well. And along, just, I would love to work with Camilo, with Alvarito Diaz, with, with you know, artists that I admire, and. And I think that currently you start to get in the position where maybe that's more possible. Recently, you have been doing a lot of live sessions. What things are your next projects? What's coming? What can we expect from Simon Grossman? Well, definitely more music. And I'm, next month, I'm going to be heading to Puerto Rico. I'm going to be recording my next album, a uh, full length album uh, and definitely more shows. And I think this live session was a turning point in the kind of content and the kind of things we want to we want to start doing because i feel like now we need to start doing things in a much higher level and this live session shows that that's this is the starting point of where we want to go and this next album is definitely my most ambitious project i've done so far i'm oh, i'm gonna be doing so far and i'm super excited to what's for this year well, we will be looking forward to all those projects, Simon. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your music and your good vibes. Thank you so much for having me. And you'll, you'll know soon. You'll know soon the next projects. Thank you. What, where can we find more information? How do we follow you? So in Instagram, TikTok, Simon Grossman, Simon Grossman, uh, Facebook. I don't know if, it, if the kids use Facebook anymore, but Definitely just all the social media platforms as Simon Grossman. Simon Grossman, thank you.